welcome to our channel hopefully you guys are doing great in today's video we'll be dealing with a new concept yeah and uh, in our previous video we just completed off with ionization energies um, and in that concept we studied about uh, ionization energy strengths patterns trend across a period trend down a group etc etc and that was the i mean that we ended our first chapter that was about first chapter of physical chemistry that was about atoms more at uh, atomic structure and in today's video we'll be dealing with new chapter of physical chemistry that is atoms molecules and stoichiometry yeah so without wasting our precious time let's get directly into it one second guys uh, okay all right atoms molecules and stoichiometry now the first thing we're going to talk about in atoms molecules and stoichiometry is about related masses and this concept of related mass has been divided into a subtopic that is about uh, atomic mass unit so first of all we're going we are going very basic here only the basic things we're going to study so we can after studying these basic things we will jump on to more difficult things and we will be going according to our syllabus according to the Cambridge syllabus 2022 to 2024 make a note of that please uh, so atomic mass unit what is exactly that thing atomic mass unit yeah so atomic mass unit first point we'll make a note of the mass of a single atom is so small that it is impossible to weigh it directly so this is a uh, this is a very important point the mass of a single atom if you take an atom if you measure its mass actually it's very difficult to weigh it directly for example if you take a substance and you just uh, weight on a weighing machine it will give you a direct mass of it maybe like five kilograms or five grams or milligrams something right but if you take the mass of a single atom you will see that it has a very small value like it comes in powers it's like uh, as you can see here in the last point I have mentioned the mass that is uh, for uh, Atomic mass unit that is 1.66 times 10 to the power minus 27 kg. It will be something like uh, 0.0000000 something. It goes on. The zeros kept keep going here. All right. So that's not a big deal that we're going to discuss here. We're going to make out of it. The mass of a single atom is so small that it is impossible to weigh indirectly. So what do we do in case of that? So in that case, the atomic masses, the mass of the atoms, are therefore defined in terms of a standard atom which is called the unified atomic mass unit so basically we are not using grams we are not using kilograms we are not using milligrams instead we are using a different type of unit that we are called we are calling it that unified atomic mass unit to define the masses of those atoms all right so now now the unified atomic mass is defined as one twelfth of the mass of a carbon 12 isotope so as we know that uh, let me just change the pointer so as we know if you see your periodic table you will see that carbon has a mass of 12 right carbon atom has a mass of 12 and whenever we are measuring the masses of these atoms we are defining them as one twelfth of the mass of the carbon 12 isotope okay so this is the thing that you need to know here not more than that not less than that but this is exactly the thing that you should be keeping in your mind all right let's move on to the next point the symbol for the unit unified atomic mass is u it's like a u symbol but often da is used that is called dalton is used as well okay so da is short is the abbreviation of dalton it's used as well and one u that is one unified atomic mass will be equal to 1.66 uh, 
times 10 to the power minus 27 kg as I have mentioned earlier or it can be found up by adding up the relative atomic masses of all the atoms present in one molecule I'll be showing that in a form of table that we're going to see in the next slide when calculating the MR the simplest formula for the compound is used and that is also known as the formula unit okay now this you can't understand without the use of a table so we will be referring to the table after the uh, in the next slide example silicon dioxide had a giant covalent structure i think we have already discussed about the structures um, in our atoms atomic structure basically how are the simplest formula the formula unit is sio2 let's see in the next slide what is exactly the formula unit or the mr so MR, again, this is the definition, weighted average mass of molecules in a given sample of molecular compound over unified atomic mass unit, that's equal to MR. Let's see the next slide, the table. Yeah, so you can see the MR. So hydrogen, we know that it's in the form of H2, and the mass is 1 for hydrogen atom. It will be 2 into 1, 2 MR. Water will be 2 into 1 plus 1 into 16, we have one oxygen atom with a mass of 16, relative atomic mass. Potassium carbonate, we need K2CO3, that will be 2 into K plus 1 into C plus 3 into O. Subst uh, so replace, substitute the values of the MR, uh, of the ARs, of the elements in the different, uh, for, uh, for potassium, for carbon, for oxygen. Calcium monoxide, we have CaOH bracket 2. We have two oxygen atoms, two hydrogen atoms, and one calcium atom. Replace their masses with their masses and an ammonium sulfate, that is NH4 twice SO4. Okay, so 2 into N plus 2 into 4, it will be 8 into H. We have one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms for H2O. And we are when we substitute in their um, relative masses, we get the value 132. And since it doesn't have any units, because it's the ratio between the same quantities, the units cancel each other out. Moving on to the next slide. Relative, relative formula mass, that's MR again. Relative formula mass MR is used for compounds containing ions. So this, that is what is used for. It has the same units and is calculated in the same way as the relative molecular mass. So again, there's no difference. This is the very, I, I told you this is the very basic concept that initially we are discussing here in the table above that we already saw the MR for potassium carbonate, calcium hydroxide, ammonium sulfates are relative formula masses. So we can also call relative molecular mass or the formula mass. So we have different formulas here and molecules as well. So we are done with this slide, with this concept. In the next con in the next chapter, sorry, in the next uh, next concept we'll be discussing. Uh, I guess that was about uh, about relative formula masses only. The mole and the Avogadro constant, I guess it was about. Okay, so let's see in the next slide what happens. Uh, in the next uh, video, let's see what happens. Till then, take care and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, cheers. So let's move on to the next slide here. That's all that we have about atomic mass unit. Let's move on to the next slide. Now we're going to discuss about related atomic mass, that is AR. We have probably heard that term. Most of you might have heard that term AR, atomic, relative atomic mass. So let's see what is that. Now, the relative atomic mass AR of an element is the ratio of the average mass of the atoms of an element to the unified atomic mass unit. Now, According to me, this point is only important till the limit of the definition. They might ask you, it might come in your board exam, in your Cambridge examination, that 
what is relative atomic mass AR simple one mark secure and you can mention this definition this is according to the Cambridge syllabus okay this is what they are asking whenever they are mentioning about relative atomic mass what is that what is that thing AR now relative atomic mass is determined by using the average mass of the isotopes of a particular element okay so now this point has to make uh, this point is important in the next steps. This point will be helping you in the next uh, step that I'm going to show you afterwards. The AR has no units as it is a ratio and the units cancel each other out. Yeah, and this is a very important point too. It, has, it doesn't have any units since it is a ratio between the same, uh, same quantities and the, the units will cancel each other out. Let's see. Now, this is the ratio relative atomic mass of an element x any element it could be any element and what you will do how we'll calculate that average mass of one atom of that element will be divided by one over twelfth of the mass of carbon uh, atom all right so again here we don't require any much further explanation that's all about relative, relative atomic mass ar let's move on to the next slide Relative isotopic mass. Okay. Now, what is that relative atomic isotopic mass? Again, we have definition first. Relative isotopic mass is the mass of a particular atom of an isotope compared to the value of the unified atomic mass unit. Okay. This is again till the limit of definition. You need to know this. Now, what are isotopes exactly? This is also can be asked as a definition to define that term. Atoms of the same element with a different number of neutrons are called isotopes. Again, you can write the, this definition whenever they are asking for what are isotopes or define isotopes. You can say that they are atoms of the same element with a different number of neutrons and they are called isotopes. Isotopes are represented by writing the mass number as 20 ni. Mean that is for neon or neon 20 or an e20 also you can write here these three symbols can be considered uh, for other at elements as well now how will you calculate the average atomic mass of an element okay now to calculate that four steps the process is divided into four steps the first step is here that to calculate the average atomic mass of an element we need to take the percentage abundance into account percentage abundance that is the thing we are going to mention now okay multiply the atomic mass by the percentage abundance for each isotope and add them all together third step divide by 100 to get average relative atomic mass and this is known as weighted average of the mass of the isotopes now let's uh, bring in some calculation now you can see here relative atomic mass this, this sigma that is representing the symbol sum of that is equal to sigma of isotope abundance times isotope mass number for each element for they have been given and divide by 100 to get the weighted average of the masses of the isotopes all right this is about relative to isotopic mass moving on coming to relative molecular mass here mr okay now the relative molecular mass mr again by definition is the ratio of the weighted average mass of a molecule of a molecular compound to the unified atomic mass unit only important till definition the mr has no units again like ar again 